I um, started in a way as a painter, which um, is kind of interesting, and then the big move or the big shift towards sculpture happened in a way through a stay in Los Angeles. The architecture, um, all, I mean, the entire city was just so overwhelming and new to me that I started first in forms of drawings to, to engage somehow with architectural structures. It was in 2009 that I started to photograph three buildings in Los Angeles from the architect Rudolf Schindler. When I arrived at the Hau House, it was empty at that time. Nobody was living there. I was, in a way, an architect stalker. So I went there again and again, and I was shooting the house again and again, first of all from the outside. Then I was trying to get into the house, which was kind of difficult. On all that kind of excitement for that house, for the structure of that house, I started to work with that shape. And my work references still, um, or has that kind of dialogue with architecture. I think it's kind of interesting to think if this is a sculpture, for instance, and you can only walk around, but what happens if you make it possible for the spectator to move into it and to have that other experience? How does, let's say, the artwork in itself change? And how does the meaning of, let's say, the idea of sculpture change? For instance, here you, I mean, if you face that sculpture, let's imagine it's a cube about one meter 40 by one meter 40. So you face that sculpture um, and you can walk around, you can, you know, you can, you, you can have different views looking at that sculpture, but you can move into the sculpture. So these kind of um, changes of the perspective is something which interests me as well. Here, I mean, in my studio in Berlin, there was really a little bit of wind coming in, and it was just naturally that the cube were moving and like almost like dancing. And I just love that movement. In, and the entire, let's say, static structure gets broken off, which in a, let's say, sculptural idea, I just think that's something, yeah, which was a very, very positive surprise. I mean, I could have thought about that because it's so logical if you hang the frame singly that for sure it moves, but how it moved, um, I, I was not, I, I, I didn't expect that and I didn't know that. And I really like that a lot.